Hey YouTube, this is Donnie Smith and I'm back with another Q&A answering your questions uh, that you leave me on videos. And uh, been getting a lot of questions lately so I'm going to try to help answer some of those you know with these video responses. And this this question was about you know block sanding after you block sand something what do you do if you find a low after that? You know, you've already done all your filling, you've done your uh, body work. You know, what do you do at the lows after you find them, after you've already primed and blocked it? Well, I'm going I'm to help answer that in this video. All right, so JP Boston 82 asks, do you ever fill low spots with filler or glaze putty? And as always, I appreciate you guys asking these questions. That's a great question. And uh, in the quick answer, you know, the short answer is going to be yes, you can use glaze putty over primer. Now, there's some things you need to do before you do that. Now, before I get there, I am going to mention that, uh, you know, it's best to have all your body work done and, and you're, you know, using glaze putty, you know, and all that before you prime where you don't have any lows. But let's face it, you know, we all have... Uh, some imperfections, either pinholes or lows, or something that pops up after it's been primed for on occasion. So, uh, but ideally, let me give you one hint, you know, to, to help you. And you may be doing this, but use a guide coat in your body filler stages. I know a lot of people use it during priming, but go ahead and use it in body filler. You know, uh, spray some guide coat or put the dry kite guide coat on there. It comes in two different methods. And it just helps you identify any lows or things like that, you know, before you get to the priming stages. So if you're not using guide coat, uh, be sure and use some guide coat. And that's just something you spray on there. You know, it's a different color so that whenever, if there's a low or scratch or whatever, that it stays in that low area and you can identify it really easy. Uh, but like I said, occasionally we're all going to miss some things. So what do we do? So you've got the primer surface on there. You got it blocked out. It looks good, but you you uh, find that there's a low there. You can put glaze putty on there, like metal glaze. There's a lot of different different brands, but the glaze is designed to go over a 2K cured primer. You know, if it's uh, dried. But there is something you want to do. You know, you may have blocked with 220 or 320. You know, most putties on their technical data sheets say that it should be over nothing no finer than 180. So let's say there's a small area you're going to have to put some. Uh, glaze putty glaze coat you know different people call it different things but let's say there's a small area you're going to put that and be sure and sand you can just by hand you know get a piece of 180 and sand that so it needs to be 180 or coarser for that to adhere properly according to the technical data sheets so you scuff that up with some 180 blow it off and then you can apply your your putty on there and then block that out and if I had to apply putty, you're probably going to want to prime and block one more time. Now, if it's just a very, very minor low, I mean, just a one you can, you know, you can't, it's not very noticeable, you know, you could uh, consider just priming again and blocking it out and see if it blocks out in the next prime. Sometimes just the mills from that primer will fill in enough to level that out. But if it's pretty low, you know, chances are primer is not going to fill it. So you're going to need to put some more uh, glaze coat on there. Uh, followed by priming and blocking one more time and hopefully after that you can get it and remember after each step you know glaze uh, after you prime you know you can use that guide coat to help you you know it's just a tool to help you identify lows and highs and and things like that and once all the guide coats off you know that it's good and level well JP I hope that helps answer your question if it doesn't you know shoot me another message and I'll try to respond back to that and uh, as always I appreciate you for leaving this comment and I appreciate everybody for watching these videos. If you like the video, be sure and give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to us, and we will see you in the next video.